Today we're going to learn how to make reusable produce bags. I made these out of mesh so you can see what's in the bag, but you can also make these out of canvas for a sturdier version. These bags are a great eco-friendly option so you can decrease your plastic usage. If you want to be the most eco-friendly, go for organic fabric. Cotton and hemp are great options for produce bags. I'm starting with one yard of cotton mesh from Etsy. I've been able to make seven bags so far and I still have more left over. To prevent shrinking, pre-wash the fabric. You can make these bags in a bunch of different sizes. I made small, medium, and large ones. Here are the measurements of the rectangle of fabric you can cut out for each size. You don't have to follow these. You can make them as big or small as you want. In this example, I will be sewing a medium size. To make it easier, I'm cutting on the fold. The fold will be the bottom of the bag. These are the measurements for cutting a medium on the fold. Next, measure two inches down from the top and mark it with a pin. Sew down each side and stop at the pins. Remember to backstitch. Next, on the top ends, fold the fabric in twice and sew it down. This will keep the fabric from fraying. Finish off the edges either with an overlock or with a zigzag stitch. Next, Fold about a half inch from the top and then fold again until you have a fabric tube that looks like this. This is where we will feed the drawstring through. We will need two drawstrings that will each go around the top of the bag with an extra few inches on each end. You could also go for one drawstring. I use some scrap organic cotton. At this point, I made a mistake you can learn from. I made the strings way too thick to pull through easily. Make sure you can easily fit two strings through the tube and that they can slide easily. The method I'm using on the burgundy knit fabric is the one you'll want to use if you're working with a woven fabric like canvas. Here's another bag I made. For this method of making strings, I cut two strips that were 2 by 27 inches, folded on each side, pinned them, and sewed it down. Remember, this works well for woven fabrics. Or if you're using a knit fabric, make sure the tube is big enough. With a woven, you will want to fold in the ends and sew it down to prevent fraying. Since this is a knit, I chose not to. Make sure your fabric tube has plenty of room for the size of string you make. The width and length of the strings are ultimately up to you. These were way too big for my project. 
At this point I realized my straps were too big, but that is how you feed the drawstring through. Use a safety pin and bring it around each side. You can leave it after one drawstring or do both if you want to close it from both sides and have it extra secure. To make skinnier strings, I cut more of my organic cotton knit into smaller strips and pulled on them. These help the bag open and close much easier, which comes in handy when you're in the checkout line. Remember to finish the strings with a knot. And now you're done. These are light and easy to bring along in your reusable grocery bag. They can fit all different sizes of fruit and veggies and are safe to throw in the washer. If you're interested in using natural fabrics for everyday life, check out my video on making a healthy pillow out of organic materials. And once again, thank you for watching.